everybody, it's Wes Morgan, and you are watching GospelBreak.com. Keep it locked right here. A lot of good stuff coming your way. Be blessed. Well, I'm here for the Wheelchair Foundation. Uh, Hank Carter and I have been working together for, I don't know, about four years, and um, it's been a very inspirational piece. Um, to kind of contribute to my life and what I do on a day-to-day -day basis or yearly basis, whatever you would call it. So um, we're here to just celebrate his foundation, celebrate not only the foundation, but the life of Hank Carter. Hank Carter has done some great things um, in this city for so many unfortunate people. And uh, so I'm glad to be part of that, glad to be um, celebrating the lives of many people who have um, fallen upon some hard times. We're going to make life better tonight. Um, actually, Hank, I met Hank um, through a friend of mine, Kimber Well. Um, we were doing some work together, and she had um, been in contact with Hank and um, told Hank about me. I can't remember if she told Hank about me or like, the person who had inquired about me. So, um, I come and did the first event, and ever since then, it's just been um, an ongoing situation. I'm very, very honored each time he calls me. Um, again, because of the um, purpose of what he does. Uh, living was kind of birthed through uh, going through a tough season in my life and just being determined that I was going to live a quality life regardless of what I was going through. And, um, you know, as I go back and listen to some of the music that I um, that, that was written during the process of pr producing that project. It's it's uh, inspiring to me as well because it's an indicator that, um, that we can be blessed and we can smile through the tough times and, and know that everything's going to be all right. And, and so that's where living came from, you know, I, based on John 10, 10, where Christ come that we might have life and life more abundantly. And the question that I ask so many people is what kind of quality of life is you? That's what living is really all about. When you listen to the different songs, it's all about the ups and the downs, but still smiling through the pain. I want my music to be very inspiring. I mean, that's why I co-mingle my story in my music, uh, lyrics, and then not only lyrics, but melodies, you know. Melodies tell a lot. You know? People relate to melodies. Sometimes people relate to melodies quicker than they do the lyrics or the message. But then after that, they can also connect with the message of the song. It's something to be inspired and to know that um, no matter what bad decisions you've made in life, um, what kind of unfortunate situations you've been occurred, that life can still be good. And, you know, I'm, I feel like sometimes I'm a living witness as to, um, you know, how you can take a licking and keep on ticking. Oh, man, who knows? Only God knows. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's those things only God knows, and it's true, I, I don't know, but we, um, we just continue to do what we're gifted to do, and continue to hold, continue to hold my craft, and whether it's acting, singing, preaching, um, counseling, advising, whatever it is, I just continue to hone what God has given me of my craft, my gift. Um, and then, you know, as the Bible says, every gift makes room for itself, or a man's gift makes room for itself. So I just keep looking at which rooms or open doors I walk in them.